Hey guys, it's Chef Jason Morris, your Ace Hardware Grilling Expert. I have a special friend with me tonight. Uh, we are introducing you to this amazing carbon steel wok from our friends at Big Green Egg. And I'll tell you, uh, when I first discovered the versatility of this wok, it really added uh, another dimension of flavor and excitement and recipes to the Big Green Egg. Because now I'm able to take that beautiful, big, robust charcoal flavor, uh, add it to uh, wok fried rice, add it to mac and cheese. I can do chili in here, uh, just so many different options. So we wanted to take a few minutes to kind of walk you through this, talk a little bit about why this expander system is so fantastic as uh, part of the wok system in your Big Green Egg, but more than that, inspire you to uh, add a little bit more gear to your grill, add a little bit of depth to your uh, culinary excitement, and really find ways to uh, walk and roll the expander system and this is such a great add-on for your large and extra large egg do you have to have it to use the wok no but i'll tell you what it is amazing and definitely i don't know it's kind of one of my like love to have kind of things here is the wok we're talking about that is that beautiful carbon steel wok uh it comes with a bamboo spatula as well and then cleaning wise today and and um Seasoning wise, here's the tools we need. So we're gonna use some rags in a box. We definitely want gloves. For the cleaning, you know, choose a copper uh, sponge or a stainless steel sponge. And then when it comes to seasoning, just some simple oil. We're using an avocado safflower oil. You can use canola oil, uh, but just use a good higher smoke point oil that's gonna allow you to do some seasoning because once we get that wok seasoned, we are gonna turn into that. A beautifully seasoned carbon steel wok ready for its performance on our big green egg. Okay, we're here at the extra large big green egg and I have the lower part of my expander out and placed into the egg and you can tell I'm getting ready for wok cooking. First thing I've done, refilled my lump charcoal, right? And I made a well in the center because I wanna light my fire right in the middle, ensuring it stays right under the center of the wok. Now, check this out. I've got the lower ring of my expander system put in there because look at this, I wanna show you something cool. Look how that fits right in there like that. Isn't that awesome? So the ring is gonna hold this wok in place. And the cool part is this wok is designed to fit your large and extra large big green egg. And you know, conveniently so, the egg spander fits your large and extra large egg as well. So I love the fact that that ring holds this stable. I mean, that's not going anywhere. Uh, I'm gonna use my, you know, oven proof gloves when I'm dealing with this or a nice sturdy pair of tongs, but that is super cool. Fits in there great, does a super job. Don't have to worry about anything tipping or spilling. Uh, and like I said before, my chef's tip of the day, start your fire dead center because now I've got everything right in the middle. All right, so first things first, we're gonna take that bamboo wok out. I'm gonna go ahead and take that cardboard off. And then one of the things you'll notice with this wok is it's gonna come shipped with a little bit of uh, stamping lubricant on it or a little bit of oil because they wanna make sure this doesn't rust or uh, you know get anything on it while it's being shipped. So I take this plastic bag off. Now, here's a tip. If you wanna save this plastic bag, uh, this is gonna work great for storing your wok. We'll show you that here in a little bit. Now, look at that. You can see there's a little bit of oil in there and that oil is going to be a little bit dirty right uh, first thing I'm going to do is take a warm towel and just go through here and get some of that wiped out right definitely you can see that that was a plus uh, I want to get this as clean as I can so that the seasoning process starts off as pristine as possible all right so we've got that set now we'll go through and dry it. Now, I'm not worried about the outside of the uh, wok because, you know, it's gonna get burnished from being in the big green egg, but I may give it a quick little wipe anyway. So, look at that. We are starting with a very clean wok. Now, like I said, oil. I'm gonna use a avocado safflower oil. You can use canola oil because the goal is just to apply four to five layers uh, in 10 to 15 minute intervals, giving us a really nice coating on here, helping with a little bit of uh, that, maybe that nonstick property as well. I'm gonna use rags in a box to help uh, with the oil and getting it all coated and nice and neat. And then I'll use a pair of tongs as well. So next up, we've got the big green egg all fired up and ready to go. Let's head over there and uh, get this guy seasoned. 
All right, first part of the seasoning process is taking that beautiful, beautiful carbon steel wok that will never look this beautiful again. No, but in all seriousness, uh, you don't want it to be this clean, right? This is gonna stick. Uh, it is not gonna be as beautiful uh, and flavorful as a well-seasoned wok. So take your wok, you're gonna put it in the big green egg at 350 degrees. Now we're gonna leave the dome open, right? We want this to stay open all the time. We're gonna let this preheat. I'm gonna let this preheat now until I start to see this darken uh, and we'll come back and catch up there. Once it starts to darken, it's time to get the seasoning process started. Well, you can see there, we've already got that nice darkening we're starting to uh, look for. So we're gonna go ahead and do round number one of the seasoning. Now, I have a paper towel folded up nice and thick. I have got a pair of tongs set and ready to go, and I may even uh, fold the towel again to help. So I'll hold this. We'll go ahead and put a little bit of oil in there. You wanna take this oil just before the smoking point, right? Where it's gonna be at its hottest. But now what I'm doing, let it soak into the towel and we're gonna go ahead and rub this guy all the way around. Now, what we're gonna do is let that oil burn off, right? Start that first layer of coating. And then once this all starts to darken again, we will come back and do the same process. So process number one, step number one is get this guy all set get it all oiled, we are good to go. So now we're gonna go ahead and wait just a few minutes, maybe give it 15 minutes or so uh, to let that oil start to burn. You can see it smoking as well. Give it 15 minutes, we'll come back. It is time to do round two. We're gonna do four to five applications of oil to get this well seasoned where we want. I'm not using any salt, I'm not using anything. I'm really just seasoning with oil to start building that beautiful non-stick property of that wok. Here we are after 15 minutes. So this is now what it looks like after 15 minutes. You can see uh, that's starting to burn in nicely. It's starting to dry out good. So we're gonna go ahead and do round number two. Again, adding that oil in there. Nice little pile in the middle. Get that all set and wiped in again and ready to go for round two. Now, after this, I'm gonna let it go again. Another 15 minutes so that I can start getting some more of that seasoning. Now, I'm not gonna be too concerned with getting that all the way up to the top. I'm gonna get it as far as it can uh, go, and I'm gonna do about four layers on this, four different rounds of seasoning to get it set where I want it. But the majority of my seasoning, I want to occur in the bottom of the bowl. And the more I cook on it, the more it'll bring that seasoning level up. But I wanna get that bottom done for sure because that really helps with that non-stick. So we'll go ahead and leave this dome open again. Uh, and we're gonna leave it open the entire process. But we'll leave the dome open, let this guy go for another 15 minutes. After four rounds of seasoning, this is where we're at. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and take this wok off now. We're gonna let it cool uh, and then I'll meet you back at the table where we're gonna show you how to uh, clean a wok uh, and then get it all set and ready to go. Now, now that this is done and seasoned, I'm gonna leave it. I want this to cool 100%. I'm gonna put a light film of oil on it and then be ready for my next cook. I'm not gonna wash this. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna let it cool naturally, oil it and save it for my first inaugural cook in my brand new beautiful wok. So you just got done cooking with your wok, right? And I got everything scraped out and I wiped it out a little bit, but now I wanna figure out how to clean this. Now, there's two schools of thought on this, right? You can use one drop of light detergent to help get this cleaned out if you want, uh, and that'll do a good job. And, and you're not gonna scrub so hard that it's gonna take off your seasoning. However, uh, what I like to do is I look for the stainless steel sponge or the copper scrubbing sponges, and what I'll do is, let me move over here and show you here real quick. What I'll do is I like to go through here, circular motions, once I've wiped it out and rinsed it out without detergent, and I like to get this guy all scrubbed out and ready to go, right? I usually find when I do that, that I don't have to use any detergents. You can, it's not gonna hurt it, uh, or you can choose not to. Now what I'll do is go through and just give it a final wipe, right, with damp towel, and then I'm gonna give it a dry, Make sure I get everything dried and cleaned. Now, once it's clean, I will go through and oil it. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in there, but I wanna protect this wok from a rusting or contamination or anything. Uh, I just like to give it a thin coat of oil. Helps get everything all set on the inside. Remember I told you earlier too that you should save that bag that it came shipped in because that might come in handy later? Well, let me show you what I mean. So now, I can go ahead if I wanna store it put that bag in there, but even further, I will push that bag 
down into that. And now I can store my wok set and ready to go for the next time. It's really an easy process, right? I mean, it's not too hard to season it. You can see we did a fantastic job getting our brand new wok ready. And then we walked you through <laughs> walked you through how to keep this clean uh, and then get it ready for your next walk as well. I'll tell you, the expander, whether it's the large or extra large big green egg, it's it's such a good add-on, right? Because not only does it help you with the walk, but it really gives you the ability now to go vertical in there. That ring is gonna hold this walk so nice and stable, making that cooking environment great. Now, we talked about 350 degree temperature for the seasoning process, but remember we said we left the dome open, so we know that temperature climbs. I like to start at 350 because then I'm controlling it on the way up uh, and not having a seven, eight, 900 degree uh, fire in there for that wok. Now, cooking options. Man, I will tell you what, you've got wok fried rice, you have wok fried ribs, we've done uh, pan fried noodles, we've done uh, mac and cheese, we've done chilies, we've done uh, flatbreads. There's so many different options to use this wok with, right? And the best part is whether you're just using that lump charcoal or you're using a little bit of uh, pecan or oak or hickory in there, uh, you can really add some amazing flavors. So it's limitless. Your culinary possibilities are limitless when it comes to the big green egg wok. Now, if you want today's wok tips, uh, you can head down below in that description section, click, print, follow along. We've got some wok tips that are gonna walk you through kind of everything we just did, right? They'll tell you about uh, the cleaning process, the seasoning process, and all of that. And then at the end, I'll tell you, we've got a couple cool videos coming for you, especially my Chef Jay's pork fried rice. Uh, so we've got a great uh, fried rice recipe for you that I think you'll find fantastic. Then don't forget, leave us your comments. Tell us how can we be more helpful? What would you like to see? And is there anything we are missing that we can show you how to make in Grill Stadium? And then subscribe to the Ace Harbor YouTube channel. Be sure to tell all your friends and family, jump in, have a blast with us. We've got a lot of cool cooking things for you and uh, we hope you enjoy it. So thanks so much for hanging out with us today in our introduction to the Big Green Egg Walk. I'm Chef Jason Morse, your Ace Hardware grilling expert. We will see you soon at your local Ace Hardware.